The fourth workout for the RX division of the 2015 CFCC Triple Threat is four time. Workout number four is 100 GHD sit ups, 75 alternating leg front rack lunges, 50 thrusters, and 25 ring muscle ups. At the call of 3, 2, 1, go, only one athlete will begin working. Throughout the entire workout, only one athlete will be completing reps at a time. The team must complete all GHDs before moving on to the lunges. They must complete all lunges before moving on to the thrusters. They must complete all thrusters before moving on to the muscle-ups. At the bottom of the GHD sit-up, both hands must touch the target. Guys will be touching the floor, ladies will be touching a plate. At the top of the GHD sit-up, both hands must touch the top pads at the same time for the rep to count. For alternating leg front rack lunges, lunging will only be allowed while the load is being supported in the front rack position. Each lunge must be done by stepping forward. The trailing knee must make contact with the ground at the bottom, and the front foot must return back to where it started. At the top of each step, the athlete must stand with the hips and knees fully extended. The weight must remain in control throughout the entire rep for it to be counted. For thrusters, this is a standard barbell thruster in which the barbell moves from the bottom of a squat to full lockout overhead. The hip crease must pass below the knees. A squat clean into the thruster is allowed if the bar is on the ground. At the top, the barbell must be over the center of the body with the hips, knees, and arms fully extended. For muscle ups, you must begin with or pass through a hang below the rings with arms fully extended with or without a false grip. At the top, the elbows must be fully locked out while supporting yourself above the rings. Kipping the muscle up is acceptable, but swings or rolls to support are not permitted. If consecutive muscle ups are performed, a change of direction below the rings is required. There is a 12 minute time cap on this workout. At the end of the 12 minute time cap, the workout is over. The team's final score will be the time in which they finish the workout. If a team does not complete the workout, they will receive a one second penalty for every rep not completed within the time cap. In the event of a tie, the tie break score will be when the team has completed their last thruster.